Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the AR Laboratory. Let's take a look at the ASU Fusion FTM100DR and the FT2DR. Well, here it is. It's, it's off right now. But let's show the hardware. This head is detachable. It comes with a, uh, a 3 meter long uh, remote control attachment cable. The microphone is on the side. I have the mobile mounting bracket on this so it can sit nicely on the table for this video. And heat sinks are under here. And cooling fan here. Let's flip it around. <laughs> cooling fan, the uh, antenna connection, DC connection, data connection, and your speaker connection. Let's turn it on. Here it goes. On we go. Okay, that's the power button. Also doubles as the lock button. Volume control, tuning knob, your AB VFO knob, your power output. I can go between low power, medium, now we're on high power. Your memory slash VFO knob and writing memory. Uh, this changes the modes between, let's say we're on FM now, but this isn't the automatic selection mode. And as soon as the signal comes in, it knows what mode that is and decodes it properly. So we'll just keep switching that. We have uh, our digital voice mode, our digital data mode, and then back over to FM. Here's your group monitor here. Squelch, always important. Press that like once real briefly, and we can adjust the squelch on the tuning dial and coder wheel, and it'll revert back. That'll shut off momentarily. Your, your uh, back button, that's used when you're using the uh, uh, menu mode here. I'm gonna go in and press this down, and now we can select some of the different parameters of this. Let's say we're on signaling right now. If I press it again, let's say I'm going to adjust the tone squelch frequency. I'm going to adjust it to 110.9. And then I'm going to hold this down for a second. And that locks it in. Now, let's take a look at the accompanying handheld, the FT2DR. Well, here's the FT2DR rugged case, metal case, speaker, microphone's a little slot right here, minimal buttons here. If I want to go in and look at my GPS information, I press the display button once, compass readings, latitude, longitude come up, press it again, go back to the frequency display, or I can press and hold the display button and get into the different adjustments of the transceiver. And hit the back button to get out of that and Let's take a look at the sides. Oh, by the way, this is, of course, a touch screen. I can change the mode, for instance. There we go. There's your, the uh, automatic selection mode, uh, digital voice, digital data, and FM. Let's take a look at the side now. Power button, squelch button. I can hold that uh, down and then turn the knob to adjust the squelch. Monitor breaks the squelch. Push the talk button. Go around on the other side. And then we have external DC input, speaker mic, data connection, and of course your micro SD card for storing memories. Rugged battery clip too. The Yaesu Fusion system automatically selects between modes. So if someone transmits in digital, it'll come through, or if the next transmission is frequency modulation, it'll detect that as well. Let's give that a try. I'm on the automatic select mode here, Digital mode on the FT2DR. One, One two, two, three. three. Okay, that works. Now I'm going to switch the mode on the handheld to frequency modulation. One, two, three. Yeah, how about that? That's pretty nifty. And Yesu makes an optional Bluetooth system for the Fusion FT2DR. Here it is with its little drop in charger. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory.